So the other day I received uh, a package from Puma Speed here in the UK. Um, this is something of a bit of an upgrade for my Mark III ST250. Um, what they've sent me here, oh by the way this was a um, sticker or um, windscreen banner sticker. A uh, couple of stickers in here as well. Um, what they've sent me is, so I'm going to do this one handed, is a brand new gold short shift arm. Look at that. I have to say, that is really nice. CNC aluminium, anodized in gold. I think it comes in, um, in a few other colours as well. Um, very adjustable, so you've got four different positions here. Um, so obviously you just move this, um, this nipple here, screw it into either of those holes there for um, however short you want your, your throws. Um, I need to double check what um, percentage change that is, but I think you can go right up to 35-40%. So um, yeah, this should be really good. Currently I've got a um, Cobb um, short shift plate that's on top of my um, stock swing arm. Uh, but this is definitely the, um, the much better, much smoother uh, upgrade than the uh, short shift plate. So um, let's take this to the car. So I've had a chance to see what the um, different hole settings on this uh, swing arm from Puma Speed um, gets us. So um, position one, which is this one here, gives us 24% reduction uh, plus 25 mil uh, extra forward shifting. Um, position two here is then 39% plus extra 25 mil forward shifting. Position three is 40% uh, reduction and then uh, position four is 25% reduction. So uh, you'll notice that I've switched from uh, position three to position four. I think 40% is a little bit too much. I hear that 25% is, uh, is pretty much spot on. So um, let's just take a moment to, uh, to talk about the quality of this. It, it's, um, it, it's not heavy but it, it does feel like a, a solid unit as you'd expect um, from a, a solid piece of aluminium. Um, finish is really good. Um, nice and easy just to um, change the uh, the nipple on there. Um, eight mil spanner. It's got a little washer underneath it as well. Just unscrews and screws back into uh, wherever you want it. Um, that will go on top of the um, uh, transmission mount there. There's a split pin that goes in through there. So um, I'll uh, I'll take it to my engine bay and we can have a look at what's already there and uh, what I'm going to need to do to um, put this one in. So here is my engine bay. We've got the Puma Speed um, new short shift arm here. Uh, you can see down here I've got my um, bumper catch can already. And then just down there you can just about see it says Cobb. That's where the uh, shift plate is there. So what we're going to need to do is uh, take out the airbox here. I'm just going to undo this clamp here for the hose uh, the, and that one there. Take out that um, silicon hose there. Take out the airbox. Take out the two feeder tubes here. And that should give me enough access to, to get down to the um, short shift plate down there. And we can fit the new one. Tools I'm going to need for this are um, just a uh, flat-headed screwdriver just for the uh, clips on here. I've got a uh, Allen key and a uh, hammer uh, just for the right dimensions to uh, get that slip pin out of the uh, existing uh, swing arm. So hopefully that's all I need. So I managed to get the airbox out, the uh, silicon hose and the feeder uh, pipes into the airbox, which are down there. So now we can have a look, good look at the uh, Cobb short shift plate, which is on top of the stock swing arm there. Um, taking off the, uh, the gear linkage there. So uh, as you can see, it just um, bolts onto the existing uh, stock short shift arm. Uh, here you can see where the uh, split pin is, so we can knock it through there. Once we get that out, uh, we can take the swing arm off and, uh, and fit the new one. Okay, um, managed to uh, finally get that split pin out. I uh, had to use a little bit of WD-40 just to loosen it up. Um, but yeah, use that Allen key and a, and a hammer and uh, managed to get it pretty much all the way out, which is good. Um, so a few light taps on top of the, um, uh, the stock swing on there, just to release it from the transmission, and there we go. Should come out. Come on. I need to love it when it works, there we go. Okay. And there we have it. It's a bit of a beast. A lot heavier than the uh, Puma Speed one as well. So um, yeah, it's just a direct swap. Use the uh, split pin from that, put the Puma Speed one back in, and, uh, and away we go. 
Okay, she's in. Uh, I definitely recommend putting the uh, split pin in um, halfway into the new swing arm first, uh, get it started uh, right up to the inside of the, the hole, then put it on top of the transmission, then um, then send it home. Um, I've connected the, um, the linkage again, so we should be all good to go. Uh, for those that are wondering, this is just a um, Sound Symposer uh, hose. I don't have the Sound Symposer anymore, but um, since it was part of the kit, and uh, I quite like that it's uh, got the um, pipe up there, just fills the space a little bit better. I've kept it in, although it does absolutely nothing. It's got a uh, bung in the end. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's reassemble the uh, the air box and everything, and um, we'll go for a drive. Okay, we're uh, we're in the car. So far, so good. Um, gear change is nice and smooth. A um, little bit different to the uh, Cobb short shift plate that I had. Um, I can remember when I was fitting that, I had a real trouble trying to get the split pin out. A lot easier this time. Um, <laughs> so I also uh, tried to uh, half bodge that uh, that job previously with the, uh, the Cobb short shift because um, I couldn't find the, uh, the bolt that was supplied. Um, to get the split pin out, so I thought I'll uh, I'll try and work my hands uh, around the um, uh, stock swing arm and try and uh, tighten it uh, as much as I could with my uh, with my hands, and um, and then perhaps try and get from underneath to, to tighten it up. I just about managed to do it. Um, I got a little bit keen though, and decided that um, when I had got it finger tight, I thought I'd go for a test drive then. Uh, that was a very bad idea <laughs> because um, I ended up uh, going for a test drive without second, fourth or sixth. So uh, once I limped home and actually managed to find the uh, the bolt that was supplied and managed to do it properly and we're all good from there. Anyway, let's get back to the um, Puma Speed uh, uh, short shift swing arm that we've just installed. The, um, the distance between the, the, the gear changes um, can I feel the, the 25%? Yeah, I think I can. Um, it's good. Um, well, let's take a let's take a right here, and we'll go on to uh, onto dual carriage and build up some uh, some speed. Down to second. Nice. To, to go for 25%, 40% uh, is probably a little bit too much, and the 39 is, is again probably a little bit too much. So um, apparently 25 is good to go, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll experiment for a little bit, and, um, and yeah, we'll see how we go with this. Uh, so I've just done some uh, motorway driving, and um, gear change is nice and smooth. Everything seems, everything seems to be working uh, smoothly and correctly. Um, gear changes are really nice, uh, nice, uh, short and snappy now. Um, Let's go around this, oh, almost, almost cut me up. Let's go around this roundabout. And up into third. Yeah, it's nice and firm, nice and short, nice sporty feel. So uh, yeah, really liking this. Uh, another roundabout coming up here. And third and second. go home we'll take some uh, some country roads see how it's like on uh, some uh, quicker shifting so there we go guys um, quick little install video for you um, again thank you to Puma Speed for sending me this um, short shift swing arm uh, really appreciate it it's good value for money uh, great mod you can do especially since it's adjustable uh, if you're not sure on the uh, on the 25 um, percent throw or the 39 percent uh, you can try the the 40 or the uh, 24 um, 
whatever suits your driving style. Um, for me, this, this seems pretty good, so uh, this is probably what I'll, I'll stick with for, for now. Um, if I do decide to uh, change to something else, I'll, uh, I'll probably let you guys know. So uh, yeah, again, thanks to Puma Speed. Um, hit me up on Instagram, it's um, chameleon double underscore ST. If you've got any questions uh, about this particular mod or any other um, mods on my car, just drop me a message and uh, let me know. So uh, thanks very much for watching and uh, see ya, bye.